Charleston White is back on another notorious run, calling out all the Chirac demons, as he notoriously has done over and over and over and over, just disrespecting people who have made kind of a contradiction within the culture, trying to paint themselves as a good guy, but have done terrible things in the streets and want to get praised for positivity for the little bit that they've done. And he's made a name for that. And now he's back again on a rampant going viral, talking about Lil Dirk being arrested. Ain't nobody laughing at Dirk like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. <laughs> I know what I'm <laughs> So ain't nobody laughing at Dirk. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> that boy got a federal no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass hold and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von, saying fuck King Von, all his time coming, they go get him. Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka, or is this his common? I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rappers. I don't even know. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of Dirk like y'all made fun of me. Better when y'all thought I got slapped. Look like that boy ass in trouble. <laughs> Salute to Lil' Tim. Um, the demons stay up. I bet he going to PC. Them California niggas try to. Started. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. GD, BD, on phone them, they ain't got no say so nowhere. <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody. But in the California prison system, Cuz and Blood run everything. And Pyru, that GD, BD, uh, phone them, mm -mm, it's gonna be hard on his ass. Cause they gonna be trying to extort him cause they know he got money. He might have to pay for a little protection. You know what? He might be all right. Because he joined Asalaamu Alaikum. One thing about it. Asalaamu Alaikum. They look out for each other. <laughs> see? See? Boy, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Boy, I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now. Boy, it's a beautiful day. I'm finna ride by where most You know you had put that hit out on that boy. So you've been trying to avoid karma. They say karma is real. I say it ain't real. I say, the, I say you reap what you sow. They say that's karma. Charleston proceeds to just give him a smackdown and troll him via the music. But the funniest thing about all this is because we know Charleston would be going on rants about all the Chirac demons. Um, He even took the social media and has been going on an either further press run and even called out Gillian Wallow about the situation. I think this is how Charleston White really got his his himself into the spotlight by talking about a lot of deceased people and a lot of people in harsh situations. But granted, they've been talking about Charleston White too, but he is known for his crazy takes on even people like Dirk's affiliate, King Vaughn. He ain't no motherfucking king. He is in hell where he belong, burning with the rest of the demons. He's been very outspoken for a long time about Vaughn. I don't know where the hate comes from. I think that there is just a part of Charleston that's a troll but there's also a part of him who's worked in the system. Charleston White is not as ignorant as he makes it paint out to be. He's a very intelligent guy, but some of the stuff that he said that's been outspoken has caused him to be in a lot of drama. King Vaughn was gonna become a Jim Jones. So God used a powerful angel. Matter of fact, Lil' Tim is a donkey. Jesus rode in on a donkey. Lil' Tim is the donkey. He ain't the savior, he's the God, he's the donkey who killed a massive demon, kind of like David and Goliath. Did they say King Vaughn had 10 bodies? He was a 10 bodies? Three bodies qualify you under the federal regulations as a serial killer. He was a black a black man who killed black, a real serial killer. Thank God for Lil' Tim to see, it's no more. He, and he ain't been killed, they ain't been killing like that no more now. Lil' Tim, thank you, my brother. And the thing about it is, how you know he's heaven sent, he don't talk about it. The other guys like him, who've come, he don't even talk about it. You know, Charleston is very outspoken. and He even dragged Gillian Wallow, and they happened to catch a stray from this whole thing. 
I'm not too sure why they even got bought up in the situation, but they for sure caught a stray in this whole beef. Y'all never gave Tuka chin. Y'all black ball Quando Rondo. No, y'all black ball Quando Rondo. Lil' Tim is a hero. I don't give a damn nobody say. Lil' Timmy, Tim, Tim, Fee, Five, Four, Farm. Lil' Tim, Kill, King, Vaughn. The Demon Slayer. I called the boy Demon Slayer. He got rid of it. The boy was a serial killer, y'all. I wonder what Wallow and, 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 and Gilly, Gilly, the, Gilly the Kid got to say. Yeah, I wonder what Wally and Gilly got to say now about nephew. Lil' Killy. Uh, y'all love them killing motherfuckers. Y'all love a nigga who will kill a nigga. <laughs> I know y'all mad at me. He wrong with him or y'all laughing at me. <laughs> I always get the last laugh. Ah, I always get the last laugh. Get the voice no more, nigga. <laughs> you silent. <laughs> you silent. Mute. <laughs> Deaf. <laughs> Boy, that jailhouse a motherfucker. I'm telling you, it'll make you think about telling on your brother. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I you telling my brother all the time. Fool. I really thought that boy had changed his life, not knowing he done killed that boy cousin. That boy, and they had to go kill the girl too, and they were promises, lucrative record deals. Oh, he a rotten motherfucker. If them people kill them people, they didn't even get a record deal. <laughs> That's some shit. Johnson White isn't all the way wrong. The way he says his stuff is a little bit comedic and a little bit agitating for certain people. But truth be told, a lot of these dudes were doing a lot of terrible things in the streets. I mean, you send somebody to go do a hit in the promise of a record deal. And a record deal doesn't really make much any money the, anymore these days because you're probably signed to like four different people once you get down to the meat and bones of it. So it is kind of crazy when people act surprised like, oh, free smirk. He's But these guys are really out here drilling, drilling, drilling. And you kind of know the outcome of these things. And then he tried to change his image to portray to the public that he was this good angel, you know, uh, going to the mosque and doing all these things and getting the key to Chicago. So there's a lot of things and a lot of contradiction in the behavior. Now, I don't agree with everything Charleston White is saying or how he says it. I don't like to disrespect the dead. I would hate for somebody to do that to me. But the problem is the black community definitely is poison. And we do have a problem where we worship the people that are doing bad things just because they're celebrities. When really, if this type of person was in our neighborhood or wasn't famous, we would probably want to see them in jail too. But since we have false, uh, false understanding of what we should idolize, we do worship this kind of stuff, even though it is a terrible thing because there's not really anything hip hop has done positively in the past 100 years. When you think about what the black community has for the last two, 300 years, all we can really say is entertainment. And a lot of our entertainers don't own their shit. A lot of our entertainers coming from music are either going to jail or a lot of them have died or a lot of them are promoting drug abuse. There's not really nothing super positive to have come out the black community. So when Charles and White says the things he says, I don't know why people get so upset about it. And when they could talk about violence and killing and fucking your baby mama. But when he says good for them, people get upset about it. But that's just my thoughts. I think there is a major contradiction. The way he says it may not be the best, but you can't call it hating it because if these were regular people in your community and weren't celebrities, y'all would probably want them gone too. But um, there was a lot of stuff that was bad. There is stuff that was probably good. But majority of this was bad, and I think you got to hold yourself accountable, especially when you out here doing it. I always say, if you don't want to sit down for it, you should stay away from it. Because a lot of people out here turn to snitches once they get to jail because everybody wants to be a gangster, but nobody wants to sit in jail for the rest of their life. And so they just start telling on everybody once they get to that point after they got done crucifying, murdering, and selling drugs all over the place. And then you want to go tell on everybody so you could be a free man. Ain't that some shit? That's why I say the streets don't love you. This is my commentary. It's your boy Dre. I'm gone.